Hello everyone. So I'm really excited to start this series where we'll be creating our 2048 game with React Native Windows. And I made a few videos on React Native Windows which will be in a different playlist. Um, and if you haven't watched them, I would strongly recommend that you watch at least the first two videos from there. I'll also be putting the links to those videos in the description. So go watch them and come back here. So I have in this project, I have the uh, app open already and I've already installed the uh, NPM packages that I need for navigation. And that should be pretty much what we'll use. So in this first video, let's just set up our project structure and um, we'll make the files in which we're going to put different parts of our code. And then we'll continue from the next video. I don't want to go too fast. There might be some of you who have already worked with React or React Native, but I want to go a little slow for those as well who haven't done this before. So first off, we'll be creating our folder here which we'll call SRC. This SRC folder will contain all of our code. So what I want within SRC, I want routes, which is uh, the folder for all of my screens. I also want a folder which is called common, which is uh, just some common things that we'll use across the app. So all of that I'll put in the common folder. I need another folder for navigation. And I want another folder for components. So this components folder is going to contain some UI components, which we'll um, use across the app once again. So uh, that'll go in the components folder. And what we're going to do, um, I think this should be it for our folders. What we'll do now is within routes, we want another folder, which is, um, let's call this menu and the second one that i'll want here is our actual game that will be our game screen so these are my two screens that i want so within menu let's create our menu.js file uh, the js extension is for javascript and another file that i want here will be my styles file so i have styles.js so these are the two files that i want so in our styles.js, we'll be writing the style sheet, which uh, defines how my, um, how my UI looks. So uh, that we'll do in the styles file and in the menu file, we'll actually put the components that we want. So I need the same for our game file as well. I want a game.js. I want a styles.js. And within my common as well, I'm going to create another file, which is styles.js. Now this styles that I have within my, uh, let me just get rid of these. So within my common, the styles that I have will be uh, something that's common to uh, a lot of screens or a lot of components. So the way we write styles is the first thing I need is to import style sheet from um, import style sheet from react native. And then what we want to do is we want to say export default. Um, I could also choose to um, get rid of the default keyword, but I'm just going to leave it there. So uh, there is difference between exporting uh, default and not using the default keyword is these uh, braces that I'm putting outside of style sheet. So if uh, style sheet had been the default e default export of react native then i would have written it something like this Expo import style sheet from react native um, but that's not the case so i need these um, curly braces here so i'm going to do export default and then to create a style sheet i need to use the style sheet dot create uh, method and within my create method i need to write my styles here. Remember, I need these curly braces uh, here because the create method takes an object. And within this, uh, let me just make a single style, which is container. So uh, let's go ahead and just give this a flex one. Um, and that's it for the style that I want in my common thing right now. We'll be adding more styles here, but let's do that later. 
and another thing that I want within my um, common folder is uh, colors.js and the reason I want colors.js is because um, I'm going to create I'm going to uh, define all of my colors here so uh, there'll be s multiple colors so let's uh, actually just write the skeletal structure for this so I'll do export default and uh, then I create an object here so this right here is a JavaScript object so within my export default what I do is I say something like background color um, and then I just do something like um, let's say dollar zero 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 uh, sorry pound symbol zero 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 which stands for uh, black uh, so this is black color and then I'll have a primary color which again similarly I can uh, have something like FFF and uh, the third one that I can have is let's say accent um, color and that I can call it let's say uh, I can give it something like um, d3 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 which will be some shade of gray uh, doesn't really matter right now I'll uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill out all of these colors um, outside of a video and I'll show these to you in the next video because um, I'll probably just play around a bit and choose some colors that fit all right but this is the structure that our colors.js is going to follow so uh, let's get rid of this so now within my navigation I'm going to have a file which is called um, stacknav.js and here what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to say import react comma component from uh, react and now as you can see uh, react wasn't enclosed within these curly braces but component was so that's again what I was talking about earlier and now uh, another thing that I want to import is uh, import create stack uh, navigator uh, this is from react navigation slash stack so that's where I'm going to import from um, one thing that I want to remind you is that in JavaScript I could put a semicolon here but uh, I could choose not to put a semicolon and that's still fine JavaScript doesn't um, bother much about the semicolons so um, in my stack nav what I'm going to do is I'm going to say export default um, stack nav extends component so all of my UI uh, components will have to uh, extend this component method right here and within this uh, what I need to do is I want a render method so I want render and within this render method alright so uh, I should also use the class here so export default class stack nav extends component that's the way it should be um, and then within my render method I want to write return and what is it that I want to return what I'm going to return is uh, some JSX tags which is very similar to HTML so here what I want is um, actually what I should do first is I want to say const stack equals create stack navigator and then I can uh, use this stack so I want stack dot navigator and um, within the stack dot navigator I want stack dot screen and the name will be menu and the component will also be uh, menu and we haven't really created the menu component yet but um, that's fine we'll do it sometime and then we'll be able to use it so uh, let's go ahead and write game here so uh, these are the two screens that I'm going to have and the stack navigator allows me to navigate between these uh, two screens what I also want to do is I want to import these components so I'm using menu here but it doesn't know what menu is so I want to do import menu from um, routes slash uh, menu slash menu so uh, this one is the directory or the folder menu and this one is the file menu so from this file right here import um, menu component 
and the next thing that I want to do is import game from route slash game slash game so these are the two components that I want here so let's now go ahead and um, go to our menu.js and what we'll do is we'll create some uh, very basic boilerplate plate code here right now and we'll end the video at that because it's uh, already been past 10 minutes I think so let's do import react component from uh, react and then what I want to do is I want to say import uh, some stuff from uh, react native which is for now let's just leave it to uh, view and uh, maybe text as well so let's leave it to that and then what I want to do is import um, common styles from uh, common slash styles so this common styles right here will be uh, this styles.js and what I want to do is I also want to stay, say import styles from uh, dot slash styles which is uh, this styles right here as you can see so uh, these are the two different style sheets that I would want and now let's go ahead and write our class so I want export default class menu extends component and within this once again I want the render method and within the render method I want uh, a return and a view uh, so for this view what I want to do is I want to give it a style so style equals uh, common styles dot container and uh, within this view I can have some text um, something like this is the menu so uh, this is the boilerplate code that I need for menu.js and once again for styles.js what I want to do is I want to do import style sheet uh, from react native and I want to do export default style sheet dot create and within stylesheet.create what I want to do is um, I'll want to give some styles which are specific to my menu so we'll do that later but uh, our styles are going to be very similar to how we wrote it here so uh, I could also add a comma here so another thing that JavaScript doesn't really bother much about is a comma after the last object so uh, if you notice I already had a comma here so even though this was the last uh, property that I had put, it's, uh, I'd still put a comma here and, and it didn't bother me much about it. So uh, that's another thing that I can do. So this is the very basic boilerplate code and we'll continue this in the next video. The reason I'm not running it right now is because um, we haven't really changed the actual code which was showing all of this. So we haven't changed app.js and what that means is that although we've created all of these files none of these are being used yet and I don't really want them to be used right now because uh, for example I don't have the game screen at all so we'll have to look into that and we'll do that in the next video where we'll also change app.js and then uh, try to run our menu maybe so I'll see you next time Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do give it a thumbs up and share the video with your friends. This is just the first video. We are just starting off so they can also follow along. So see you next time.